Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to let you know very quickly. Yep. I am nowhere near famous enough to be doing this with you, so I am so thankful that you invited me here, brother. No, that's total bullshit. You are hey, no. you're, you're full of shit. Uh, uh, you, you, how you doing? You good? I'm great, man. I was just on a Stairmaster trying not to be fat out here in Indiana, and as soon as it came time to go live with you, I could just feel my heart start to run. What a <laughs> fucking legend you are. I just want to let you know <laughs> a fucking legend. I, uh, I'm very thankful for this. You've got a massive weekend, and I'm excited to talk about it. You're the best, brother. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We're all pumped up for that. I mean, everybody, man. I got fucking... Me and Rogan see more fights than anybody on planet Earth. When Rogan's calling me and we're talking an hour and 15, hour and a half about the fights this weekend, you know we got some good fucking fights coming up. Hey, how so, about him? Hey, by the way, how about yeah. him just being an absolute fucking animal? I mean, he's the, just most, an he's the most powerful guy in all of media right now. It's, it's unbelievable what he's built. He built that fucking thing with his own two hands, and uh, he's, he's brilliant. I agree. So are you. Hey, don't undersell yourself here, pal. Okay, you Thank genius you. is talking about the fight, and I'm one dumbass here, and uh, <laughs> I'm here to. I'm. I'm excited about it. All right. So Cormier versus Stipe yeah. to find yeah. out who's the greatest heavyweight champion ever. How do you see this fight going down, and who do you got? Okay, so I'm a little bit conflicted here. I like to bet strictly on how I feel about the human. Okay, that's how I feel on everything. For football, if I like the team and it feels like they might be pissed off, okay, I'm going to go with energy, emotion, and everything like that. Like, I bet on the human aspect a lot more than anything else. So for this, Stipe and I did college game day together over in Columbus. We crowd surfed together, and that's a big son of a bitch. I mean, that is a big, handsome son of a bitch. But Cormier came on my show and gave me one of the best interviews I've ever had in my entire life. And when I learned that he was going to retire definitely after this, I thought back to myself, and although I played a position that did not matter, okay, punter does not matter. You kick the shit out of the ball, but you're not going to determine whether or not your team wins or not, okay? That is, that's just the way it is. But anytime I was going into a game that I knew was going to be the last game of the season, I was, like, locked in a little bit more, you know, a little bit more focused because all off season, that's all I'm going to be thinking about is whether or not I hit shanks and fucked up and embarrassed my family and team because that's what you're going to think about for months and months and months. So for right. me, I love Stipe. I think he's a badass individual, firefighter, American hero, you know, everything like that. But for Cormier, it being his last fight ever, I think the taste that he wants to leave in his mouth in the fight game is a positive one. So for that reason, plus – you know, let me get a little uh, technical savvy here. The smaller cage, Dana, the smaller cage is going to help the wrestler, I think, in this particular situation. Although Stipe doesn't run from shit. He actually runs towards fires. I think that the wrestling and Cormier retiring after this, I think he's going to take it home. I got DC for sure. All right. So you got Cormier winning the fight. How does he win the fight? What do you think? I think, you know, if you look back to the first two fights, right, it was always like who was winning at the beginning ended up not winning in the end. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure why. But I think it'll be, I think it'll be a uh, decision. I believe it'll go to decision. I'm not sure there'll be a knockout. I think it'll go to decision just because they're both legends and warriors. And Stipe has said that he doesn't want to be a part of the fairy tale story. So I think, I just think it's going to be an incredible fight. One that we remember for a long, long time. And I think Cormier wins decision in the end. And then, by the way, good friend of yours, I know. I heard him speaking earlier today. Ariel Hawani, uh, Stipe will be fighting for the championship next fight is what he said. And, and I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, he's an <laughs> asshole. But that's what he said. So Stipe gets the belt back potentially at the next fight anyways. Well, you're right about a lot of things. He is an asshole. And, um, and, and I, I, you know, I, I can see this going to a decision. They're both in, in great shape, man. Uh, Stipe came in at 233. Uh, Cormier came in at 236. They both look lean. They're both in really good shape. It, it's going to be a fun fight, man. Listen, I appreciate everything. Thank you for your time, and uh, thank you for your prediction. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. I am nowhere near on the level I should be to be on this, and for that, I thank you. Tell Bob Fox I said hello. I love that little kid. I love that dude. And also, is there ever a moment – I've always wanted to ask you this. You know when you're in between the dudes or the ladies when they're fighting and it's getting a little popped off? Has there ever been a moment where you're like, oh, shit, this is going to get – this is going to – like, you ever shake your pants a little bit in there? Is there ever a moment like that for Dana White? Yeah, there, there, there's some times where, uh, you know, some of the – you know, when you got Francis and Ganyu and, and, and the Black Beast and, uh, you know, guys like that, and if they start getting really aggressive, at the end of the day, 
what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to just try to get in the middle of that thing and hopefully a lot of fucking people run up there and help me. So, yeah. Hey, that was my life as a punter, dude. If teams got in a fight, I put my helmet on and just hope not to get knocked out first. Bro. I, uh, I appreciate you, Dana. Have an incredible weekend, boss, man. You too, man. Have a great day. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Hey, Shinzu, art of war. Be where they don't expect. Let's take this thing over. I appreciate you. <laughs> Later, brother. See you, dude.